Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we'll be making a trap part that when your player touches it, he dies. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, so that's how it's going to work. Let's go ahead and get started and see how we can code this. So to get this thing started, the first thing we want to do is add a part into our game. To do that, we can come up to the very top and click on the blue cube. That inserts a part into the game, and what I'm going to do is just resize it, so I want to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm also going to change the color. The color and the size don't really matter, so you can choose whatever size and whatever color you like. After that, you want to go over to the Explorer menu and find the part that we just added, and click on the plus sign right next to it. We're going to be adding a script into this part, so you can just type, start typing script, and then it should show up somewhere on this list here. This will open up a blank script, and what you're going to do first is just delete this print hello world message. After that, we're going to go ahead and start writing our code. So I'm going to be starting by saying local part is equal to script.parent. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a variable called part and then linking the script to the part it's attached to and what this does is it just makes this part easier to reference later on in our code so if I didn't do this and I wanted to talk about this part then I would have to start with game dot workspace and then dot part so doing this just makes it easier to reference later on in the code what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make a function so I do that by saying local function I have to give my function a name so I'm gonna call this one touch Inside the parentheses, you can put an argument. So in this case, I'm going to call my argument body part. And then I'll explain later on what I'm going to be doing with this. So body part. The next thing I'm going to do is create another variable. So this one's going to be called local humanoid. And this is going to be equal to body part dot parent. And what I have so far, so whenever the player touches this part, it's going to get the body part that touches it and then I'm using that body part to find the character that it belongs to so the parents of the body part would be the character the next thing I'm going to add to this is find first child and then inside the parentheses I'm going to put humanoid so what I'm doing here is I'm using the body part to find the parent and then I'm seeing if that parent is actually a humanoid what I'm going to do next is if humanoid so if it's able to find the humanoid part, then what I'm going to do is reference the humanoid variable. And then it's health attribute, so I'm going to type dot health. And I'm going to set this equal to zero, which will in effect kill the character whenever it touches the part. So that's all I need for the function. Uh, it's not going to run right away, so to actually run this function, I need to link it to a touched event. To do that, I'm going to say part dot touched colon connect and then inside the parentheses I'm going to put the name of my function which is touch just like that okay so that's all we have to do for the coding part let's go go ahead and test it okay so I'm back in my game I have my red part let's go ahead and see if when the character touches it then he dies all right great so it's working okay so now that we finished the coding for this Let's go ahead and take a look and see how we can maybe turn this idea into a game. These type of parts are very useful if you're going to be making an obby or any type of obstacle course in Roblox. So what we can do is we can insert some normal parts into the game. And let's go ahead and make this one a little bit larger. I'll put this one on top of the part here. You can also copy and paste these or press Ctrl D to duplicate them. So that just makes another part and the nice thing about this, it has the same script we wrote before. So if I copy and paste these, I don't have to re rewrite the code form. It's already in there because it's copy and pasted. So let me go ahead and make this one larger. Space these out a little bit. And so we're not going to get into a whole game. I just want to give you a few ideas, and then it'll be up to you to create from here. So let me show you how this is going to work. So you can take away the base plate at the end here. So let me find the base plate, and you can delete that. And now this part is the only thing left. But since I'm just testing, I'm going to leave the base plate for now. And one more thing, if you guys do delete the base plate, you want to make sure that for each of these parts, 
you go up to the top here and make sure they're anchored. Otherwise, when you run the game, they're just going to fall down to the ground and you won't actually see them. So let's go ahead and run the game and I'll show you what we can do with this. So now that I'm in the game, you can see I have my two parts here. So this one in the center here, you can either have the players try to go around it or maybe jump over it. And since I can't go around this one, the only option would be to jump over it. And I may have made it a little bit too big. Let me see if I can actually jump over it. Oh, so I made it a little bit too big. You can go ahead and take this idea and make it into a game. This is going to be the end of the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.